To get you a check of your forecast, Crown Meteorologist John Trable has been tracking weather conditions there in uh, that region. Uh, John, it's a scary situation out there. It absolutely is, Noel. The Caldor fire from the start has been such a fast spreader, and that is certainly true as it makes its way to the northeast. And in addition to the already concerning situation, we are about to have winds picking up in the Lake Tahoe region as well as the rest of the Sierra, which is prompting a red flag warning, which goes into effect today at 2 p.m. last through tomorrow. This includes Lake Tahoe in the vicinity of the Caldor fire. Winds gusting as high as 35 miles per hour out of the southwest is likely to be funneling the fire closer to South Lake Tahoe and that's where this concern comes from. We also have very dry conditions up there, not just as far as tinder goes, but also humidity, very, very dry conditions up around the Caldor fire. So that is the obvious concern for our neighbors up there in Lake Tahoe. The southwesterly winds are going to do us a favor in the Bay Area, actually pushing smoke out of our region and keeping temperatures cooler. Today will be our last of our hotter days. Right now it's 50s, 60s, and 70s, ahead of what will be some 90s inland this afternoon. You can actually see the smoke from the Caldor fire. It definitely will have a continued impact around Lake Tahoe, but less and less so for the Bay Area. By the finish of the day, you see how much clearer our air quality becomes. We're still in the midst of moderate for much of the Bay Area. Of course, we do have poor, very poor, and then worst of conditions further to our north and northeast as well. So Bay Area really out of the woods as far as our threat goes from at least wildfire smoke. Winds from the south and west, you can actually see that showing up here in the Bay Area. It'll be those same winds up in the Sierra that have resulted in that red flag warning. As far as temperatures go today, I mentioned it being the last of our hot days. 60s remain at the coast. Even with our cool down, that's not going to change a whole lot. It's our bayside and inland areas that are really in for quite the change in the days to come. 70s to 80s along our Bayshore cities, San Jose, you'll be at 88 degrees, Fremont to 84, some mid-90s in Pleasanton and Livermore, as well as in Danville, Walnut Creek and Concord. Oakland, a nice 74 today. Our very hottest spots, Antioch and Vacaville, still close to triple digits. So yeah, it's still a hot one, although not quite as hot as we were earlier this weekend. Now, tomorrow's temperatures cool as much as 10 degrees for both inland and bayside cities. After that, we're even cooler yet into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that will definitely play in the favor of fires burning across the region. Anytime you get a little bit cooler, kick up that sea breeze just a little bit more. At least that will be helpful as far as temperatures go. But over these next 24 hours, it is a very risky period for those battling that fire.